Are you trying to pay a debt? No. Like, that's all they wanted to say was, are you... Um... Okay. Well, that's a new one. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, I think it was too short. Where are you going? Okay, apparently hit a tank. Now, that is against a ground target around six kilometers, eight kilometers away, and it wasn't rendering properly. So it's like, imagine when we have VBR stuff. Just imagine that. All right, so it's time. Let's do it. Let's take out the Magash 7C, a vehicle that I have been incredibly excited to have for a very long time. So much so that when I first realized that the uh, Israeli tech tree was coming to War Thunder, I thought, yes, at some point we will be seeing this vehicle and I will live my dream of playing a vehicle that is not in Armored Warfare because that game is just, don't get me wrong, it's good, but it's so repetitive compared to War Thunder and no one plays it, so sorry. But of course, as it's finally here, I realized that it's not entirely where it should be, at least in my heart. <laughs> I know, right? It's a weird way to go about it, right? I'll get more into those details in just a quick second. I do want to let you guys know really quick that, again, the sales are going on. If you want to save 3%, use my 3% discount. I will replace this part with sponsored gigs, which shouldn't happen until January. December sponsors have been kind of iffy lately. I have no idea why, but we'll wait until the next one, right? So for the time being, if you want to support me as a creator and you want to save a few bucks, use my 3% discount. You get my decal. What's really not to love, right? Especially since that those $70 premiums are kind of rough right now, which let's be honest here, everyone is buying them. Use that 3% to save yourself a pretty penny. Cool, awesome. Anyways, back over to the Magash 7C. Now, what makes this not incredibly unique while being unique? Well, it is entirely the same as you would find with the Galpatash. In fact, I would say the Galpatash is superior to it in some regards, at least in protection mobility, firepower, everything is essentially the same. Now, of course, the trade-off is compared to the Galpatash is you don't have ERA. Instead, you have composite layers all over the place, which is very nice for the most part. Unfortunately, it does not help against kinetic. But if we take a look at the chemical protection, that's where things get a little interesting, right? If we go ahead and pull out, let's just say the mid-range 105 millimeter heat FS, right? Take a look at this. Oh, um, oh, oh, what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> wrong button, wrong button. There we go. Right, check it out, 600, 700, 900 millimeters of chemical protection. This can do very well against standard, even high grade ATGMs from say the, um, not the Rollins, what's another one, right? The Toe Twos, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe tandems might not do a very good job uh, in penetrating this, but let's be honest here. Overpressure is going to kick your butt entirely. Any APCBC round that comes your way, this thing will probably do well in bouncing. But when it comes to kinetic though, Let's bring up the M426, which is basically DM63105. Yeah, you can see right here. Now, if this 105 can go through the turret face and upper front plate without any issue, anything around this BR, mango, whatever, is going to go right through this turret and this, this entire chassis without any sort of problem. That's the biggest downside about this. And also, you have the typical M60 everything, right? You have crap gunner optics. You have crap vertical targeting speed. I put an expert crew on this to try to help me out a little bit. 3.8 degrees it's terrible right turret traverse 23 is not terrible but it could be much better and uh, engine power of course eight going in reverse which is terrible 48 going forward and you also have a 908 horsepower engine which by the way this does weigh the exact same as this one right here except that you get more composite material on this vehicle and i know the gabatash i think is the latest variant of the um all the magashis i think except for the uh Oh, I can't remember the name of the, um... It's the Sabra. It was the Sabra tank. That's right. It's basically this one with a 120. Better everything else for that matter. I think everything is the same mobility-wise, but internally, fire control system optics should be a lot better, which I look forward to in the near future. So the hope goes. And definitely a 9.7, 10.0 worthiness to say the uh, AMB TM60 which by the way is still my favorite tank in the game. So hell yeah. <laughs> Anyways, aside from that, when it comes to the actual Magash 7C, 
I, I can't find anything else on it. Sure, it's got uh, 12 smoke uh, smoke rounds, so probably sets in threes or twos at a time. Who knows? No composite inside the vehicle itself. That's really it. Crap optics, Gen 1 thermal sights. Yeah, so let's go ahead and take this bad boy out and see whether or not it's worth your time and effort to grind for. But in truth, it might be the exact same thing as the previous, you know, 90 other Magashes. <laughs> so let's begin. I am terribly surprised. We have yet to get any sort of IEV for the Israeli lineup. Now, I did build my minimalistic lineup, right? Which was the vehicle, a helicopter, and an SPAA. But normally, oops, oops uh, I like to add a uh, an IEV of some sort to kind of offset the balance of this vehicle a little bit or the vehicles in general. But it just, they don't have any yet. I know they have a bunch of good ones, but... Gaijin, I know you're taking your sweet time, but come on, right? Uh, by the way, I'm going to be sniping for a little bit. And also, you don't want to carry too much ammo in this thing because it is... There's ammo all over the damn place. Oh, crap. What is that? Ooh, buh -buh. Hold up. I messed up. Ooh. Wow. Damn, that turret got further than him. <laughs> or went further. That's funny. <laughs> I wasn't going to add that as part of the, uh, the footage, but that was absolutely brilliant. I'm telling you, man, these optics, they're bad. <laughs> they're they are really, really bad. I mean, that's a dead tank. I could forgive them if I had just a little bit more wiggle room, but I just don't. And the commander's sights are even worse. Look, just, they're so bad. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know what the idea was when they designed this tank, man. Like, seriously, put the commander's sight on top of the vehicle, not the side. Oh, finally, something to shoot at. Holy hell, my entire, my team's doing good. Their team, I have no idea what the hell they're doing. They're just kind of running all over the damn place. Oh, I think I got one. Got one right there. Keep going. Yes, perfect. Thank you. But the reason why I'm taking the good old flank and spank is because this thing cannot tank darts at all. You'll see in the game. Ooh, come up. Oh, got his horizontal. I should have my teammates a little bit. But, dude, this M426 round is actually really freaking nice, too. Oh. Uh, in truth, I got really fed up with the uh, the whole flank and spanking deal. So, instead, I'm going to do that. <laughs> no, I actually want to get more into the fight. Uh, we are losing a lot of the points. So, if I can come up behind them and maybe get a good old flank and... What are you guys doing? One day, I'll have my IFE, too. Don't worry. One day. <laughs> hey, uh, Gapar took out my friendly 2S25. I was sitting on the edge of the map. He's probably going to get ganked right now by this BMP2M. And also, this guy right here. I see him. I see him. I see him. Oh, boy. Woo. That could have been worse. I know. Before you start thinking of getting on my ass about, oh, Justin, you're just going straight for the spawn. Let's be honest here. Their team is pretty much gone. Okay. Tam2IP? Nope. Not Tam2IP. I'm sorry. Uh,. DM33 wielding Leopard 1. I got his loader, so that reset everything. Hey, at least he got the part. And give me a boop. Sorry, buddy. Dude, I don't get me wrong. I like the A1s, A1s, but they have such piss poor armor. You want to snipe with those. Oh, wait, what you got? Hold up, what you got? Uh, get him, get him. There you go. Get him, get him. Come on. I got it. I got his commander gunner. Rock his ass. There you go. I don't want to steal. I want him to have it. There he goes. <laughs> oh, that was satisfying. He's dead, though. Okay, here he comes. Now, here's the funny part. The uh, martyr, I should be able to tank his missiles. Do I trust that? Not one damn bit. Overpressure is a absolute pain in the ass. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the heat round. Because I have an idea. Nope, oh, never mind. He's dead. No, that, I guess that saves us the effort. All right, let's go kill this, uh, or not. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, he got, oh, he's gonna, never mind. This game's over. Now, this is a rare one. Pull down to here. That's right. Also, if I didn't already mention at the beginning, uh, I did uh, see that they buffed the Merkavas, the Mark II D and other vehicles. They now have good reverse speed 30 or excuse me like 20 something in reverse which is really 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 nice because Merkava's at least the earlier versions outside of the fours they weren't really well known to uh you know shoot and scoot 
But now that Gaijin buffed it, I think it's worth looking into once again. What do you guys think, huh? Comments below, let me know. Got one. Cam to IP. Oh, oh, nice. I didn't even look like he was looking at me, huh? Nice shot. All right. Yeah, remember when I said this thing does not tank uh, APFSDS very well? I wasn't kidding. Here's the thickest freaking part, too, I think. Got one. Uh, come on. Torque, 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 torque. Thank you. Perfect. One down. I got an... that one. What is that? That's a... Did you guys see that? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> we can kind of see through that through the walls a little bit. Nice rendering, huh, Gaijin? There's the TAM2 IP. Gotcha. I think that was the one that got us earlier, too. Maybe. Got one. Coming up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I heard you a mile away. Dino's you know, I was wondering, mm, is he coming this way? And so he did. Very nice. Uh, Dude, I see that. That light pole right there looks like it's a tank moving or something. So it keeps drawing my attention. Um. Uh. <laughs> completely forgot down tears. You think helicopters are bad? Oh, that's coming from me too. That's definitely coming from me. Come on. Pop and smoke. Oh, that's coming from me. And dodge. Yeah, let's um. Let's do this. I'm gonna ESS, and I'm gonna get us the hell out of here, and let's go find a nice little hold down position oh, away from them. And also, my thermal sights can see right through the smoke. The TAM 2s and everything, unless it's the 2Cs, they can't see us. Oy! What the hell was that? Oh, that's. Oh, boy. Um. Uh! Oh god, I hate aircraft sometimes. I'm gonna stay behind here and just kinda hope they don't see me anymore. Damn it, I'm down to now two crew. This sucks. Never mind, I'm down to no crew. That was a revenge kill too. This was a fun. I haven't taken this out in actually ever. I don't think I've ever gotten a kill on this thing. I just got it fairly recently, and I'm very disappointed that Gaijin has not given this to uh the Americans. I mean, were we not the ones who made this? At the beginning? I, I, I'm not complaining. I'm just curious as all. So let's find a comfy spot and maybe find another aircraft too. We'll see. Oh no. There's a Z11 right here. Does he have the air to air? He's got. Yeah, let me see if he has two air to air missiles. Does he? Uh. No, he does not. Okay. He's only uh, air to ground. That's completely fine. Ooh. Ooh what was that? I, I, I saw that. What is that? There you are. It's a good part. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, he will be soon. Oh, maybe he's not. Holy shit. Um, ooh. Uh, I don't trust that. Not a good part. No. <laughs> oh, God, look at him go. <laughs> Let's just get some altitude. I don't want this guy to get me. Oh, the good part's dead. This guy, on the other hand, is not dead. He will be soon. Nope. Uh, ooh. <sighs> yep. Welcome to Justin Potato Plays TV, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. And we're out of missiles. You know what I can do? Absolutely nothing except rearm. So let's go do it. All right. So we're back up and, uh, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, before we jump over the next clip, I want to let you guys know really quick that many of you have been asking me, hey, is the... Uh, uh, is the MI-28A a good buy? Uh, because it's on sale right now, right? I think it's on sale for half off. I would say yes. Absolutely. It is 100% worth the purchase at 10.0. It is a brilliant, overbearing helicopter at times. So, yeah. I think now is a good time to get it. I'll make a, a little post about it a little bit later. But, yeah. I know. I bullied a World War II tank with my tow missile. How fun, right? <laughs> you know the whole idea? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, this is definitely broken, but Gaijin refuses to fix it. So, for the meantime, and nice name, Tit Derpy Whale. <laughs> Sorry, just the name just got to me a little bit, okay? Uh, since Gaijin doesn't want to fix this, we may as well use it. Because why not? It's a good advantage, right? Balanced.
Speaking of balance. That's a 2AV. That's a rare sight. No one really plays that damn thing. I personally love it. Boop. Ooh. Think he knows we're here. Oh, he definitely does. They got his driver, and that's it. Nice spalling, huh? Oh, they definitely know I'm here. Ooh, gun sights! Oh! They both shot. I think. Let's get this guy. Yeah! I think he's trying to frag me. Come on. All right. This thing will be dangerous. Oh! oh. Fuel tank. I'm rocking DM63 equivalent. And it, uh, he's dead now. <laughs> you know what? We're being balanced, I guess. That's that's totally fine. Oh. Fresh spawn. Sorry, buddy. Ooh. Loader engine. They got him. You have AM1. Small game, too. What is that? Wait, what is that? I can't identify that. Uh, oh, it's a missile launcher. It's a Sturm. M missile carrier. You know what I mean, okay? A heat of the moment kind of thing. Yeah. That, yeah, that could have been bad or worse. So this game is about to be over, right? I mean, they only have so many players left. We have the entire field and we're now pushing them into their spawn. I, I want to point this out, right? This spot that's right out of their spawn is absurdly op and i know right justin you're playing it blah 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 i get it hypocrite i don't really care right uh but check this out there was a counter sniping spot i think about right up here it, 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 i think it's right there somewhere yeah there was this spot which you would use to counter this location and do it pretty well and gaijin decided to patch that side while leaving this entire side untouched I'm sorry i heard a missile and i I generally don't trust the sound of missiles. <laughs> so there's a good possibility this game is going to be over. So if this is a jump cut, I do apologize. Ooh, okay. Uh, being in a hold down position, not exactly a good idea for this thing because the turret base just is not strong. As you've obviously been able to tell in the video, uh, the turret is, it's paper. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no, I messed up. Uh, let's, let's try for a little bit, clear our way through and then get behind the rock stag as always, yeah? Ooh, somebody's two people waiting for us though. Come on, vertical targeting. You're not this bad. I know you're terrible, but oh shit. Thank you, tree. I don't know what that is. Oh, what is that? I think it's an IT1. Mm, it might be an IT1. Okay. Come on, come on, give me a better shot. Come on, tree. I can't get a shot on this guy. There we go, got his gunner. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> That's always satisfying to see. Oh, I guess we're not moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see him. Okay. People back. Oh, we actually tanked a hit. Are you serious? We're not supposed to tank darts. Got his driver. Ugh. Oh, there's a missile. Yeah, so much for this thing having like 900 millimeters of chemical protection, huh? Yeah, so much for that. <laughs> Gosh, sometimes, man. Uh, Gadgen. There's our friend again. Beautiful. Yeah, dude, chemical protection on this thing is just... I, I thought it was going to be better. He's only got like 550 millimeters of chemical penetration, and this thing wasn't able to tank that? Oh, speaking of which, I think we're dead. Oh, thank you, tree. I actually made it to this corner. Now, is it going to mean anything, though? That's that's the big question. I mean, it could. This guy's got my number. Man, I can't even see him to shoot either. Holy crap. Yeah, I can't even see him. There you are. Oh, that's a Sturm. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a... Uh, that's That explains why. Uh, a lot, actually, why he was able to go through our turret. He's got, like, 1,200 millimeters of pen. Or not? That was a different guy. Uh, uh, oh, I got heat rounds. Hmm. We might be able to make this work. There you are. There we go. Try this. 
Nope, I missed. Come on. Come on, give me another one. Give me another one. I, I can hit him. Like, I, I can definitely hit him right now. And someone else that hit me. Fire, 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 fire. Ugh. Come on, give me some splash damage. I wish I had Hesh now. That may have worked better. <laughs> oh, there we go. Very nice. It didn't even give me the assist. It didn't give me the assist. Gaijin. Why? There was two of them. Damn, all right. I am most likely going to regret this. Let's do it anyway. Or maybe not. Yeah, he could have kicked my ass real quick too so uh, i'm glad that worked out pretty well but where's that other one it was a t55 or a t54 or something Ooh. oh holy shit we split to victory oh <laughs> i got so lucky with that one to be honest holy crap um i could definitely gank him that's for sure Alright. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Already ended up getting him anyway. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, she tracked me. He was waiting for me, too. He wanted me dead. I'll be really honest, this game ain't going so well for us, but neither for them. Maybe we can take this back. Got one front. Somewhere in the water. I know. I could have gone for the uh, A-point recruit. Ooh. You poor little thing. Am I sorry? Yeah, just a, a teeny tiny bit, but in truth, the frustration is so, so... I have so much of it right now that I don't really mind. Oh, shit. Someone's back capping us. What a champ. But where? Oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There you are. Oh. Perfect, 72A. Uh, my round would have gone through his front without much issue anyway, but who the hell is back capping us, though? Go get him, boys. There he is, 55 AM1. Come on, gun, let's go. Got him. Save my teammate, too. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Got one. Coming up. Might be coming up far, actually. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, this is going to be a bad shot, actually. I, I might get countered by a piece of wood. Oh, he's still going. Ooh. Another one. Oh, and he has no idea. I'm sorry, little T62. Ooh. One coming up. Oh, it was a T25. Oh, no. Justin, you bullied a child, right? Wait, does that classify as a child? You know what? This, I'm making up all my frustration right now. Right there. No, I'm not kidding. I'll take 11 kills. This thing is so annoyingly frustrating to play that I will take these kills. I ain't gonna lie, that was uh, that was kind of rough. Now, yeah, sure, that last game, we did pretty good, right? But overall, the experience is what you would expect at 9.3 for this type of vehicle. The Galpata shares it, the Magash more or less 6B shares it. I think 8.7 is a lot more of a stable environment, but when it comes to just this vehicle as a whole, there's nothing special about it. There's nothing spectacular, nothing that really makes it just take it out and you can have a different experience than that of say the Galbatash. in fact i would say this is a bit better than that in almost every regards except actually in every regards for the most part except mobility it's the same right but when it comes to the 7c itself it's not special it really isn't i thought it was i went in with the idea of this is going to be fantastic and i i can't I, I can't wait to play it right but it's just not like that because as a whole 9.3 is a very unusual environment for this type of vehicle, right? You don't have speed. You don't have good optics. Your vertical targeting speed is, oh man, you will feel that. You trust me, you will feel that. And the reverse rate, I would forgive it if this was like a T72, right? It's small profile, I would forgive it, but just you can feel that too. And trust me when I say it is, it's frustrating. It really is because this vehicle doesn't have anything that you would want at 9.3, right? It only has good firepower. That is it. It's not even protection. And if you take a look at other vehicles like the the, the XC8, right? The CB9105, or if you take a look at the TAMs, etc., they're they're not that much better, but they are mobile. And that's probably one of the biggest things you have to understand at the higher tiers is that mobility is absolutely key. If you can't have mobility, you gotta have firepower and protection. All right. But since this doesn't have any of it, maybe firepower. 
it, it's just a bad combo. Does that make sense? So would I recommend this as a whole, as a lineup? Yeah, sure. I mean, go for it. But as a whole by itself, as a go-to run and gun vehicle and maybe something you want to get to experience, you know, a, a better environment, I would say it's probably not worth it. They should flip these two. Or maybe we should wait for the Sabra. Maybe that's what we'll probably do, right? The Sabra is going to change up the vehicle just a bit. It's going to have better engine. I think it's going to have better uh, firepower by far. And it's going to be sitting around the 9.7, 10.0 area. I would say 9.7 if it is less than that of the MBT M60. But we'll have to wait until that very much comes. But in truth, it's just very much a miss right now. And I really wouldn't recommend it. Especially seeing that it is an end of the line vehicle. Which means that you're going to be spending a lot of Silver Lions and RP to grind this thing it's not even funny end of line vehicles are terrible to grind so yeah take that as you absolutely will if you guys happen to have enjoyed my uh, frustration in this gameplay feel free to check out my live streams over on twitch where i do this live i stream every day from monday wednesday friday saturdays and some off days too uh at around 9 a.m pacific standard time so i really hope to see you guys there for sure and uh again if you want to support me as a creator you know exactly what to do three percent discount or just watch the video or come to the streams and just watch you know, come say hi. <laughs> but again, hope you guys enjoyed everything. Thank you again so much for taking uh, the time to watch this. And I will see you not only in the next video or even those streams, but in War Thunder itself. But maybe not at 9.3. I'll see you next time.